potted arrangements don't last forever and sometimes even a combination of plants that you think will work well together just doesn't. So this is a Kalanchoe flapjacks and then a an ice plant, a Corpuscularia lemoniae, and then there's a little Echeveria over here. I believe this one is, actually I'm not positive. I want to say it's like a peacock Echeveria. Not positive there. But you can see the flapjack is not doing well. I have not had flapjacks do very well indoors under grow lights. I don't know if it's just where I've had them or the particular ones I've had. I have, let's see, I think I have at least one other one. It's just not done very well. And I don't love this pot either. I'm really, really leaning toward um, wider, shallower pots as opposed to tall, skinny ones. And this one only has a very tiny drainage hole at the bottom. I've just not been a fan of it. But it's interesting because the little ice plant here you can see is growing a bunch of new babies. It's actually doing pretty well. The leaves are very plump and full. And the Echeveria is doing well too. It was a little stretched out a while ago. Now it's just got new babies growing off the stem. So at this point, I think this pot or this yeah, this pot needs to be unpotted and the plants separated out. I'll probably clean up this flapjacks, get rid of all of the dying stuff. So flapjacks naturally has some white kind of powder on it, but there is a chance that this one's progressed and it's more of a powdery mildew instead of just the natural coating that builds up on it. But I've found that this happens with them indoors also, more so than it does outdoors. And so I've wondered if it just accumulates more powder inside, if there's not wind to blow it out or something along that line, because I'm not really seeing a lot of damage that's consistent with powdery mildew other than um, a couple leaves that are kind of dried up. And that's only just in the last two or three weeks and it's not been watered very consistently. So anyway, this is just a great example of how over time you're gonna end up needing to repot some succulents and just make adjustments to the arrangements. That is one of the reasons why I love having individually potted succulents instead of arrangements. I find it's just easier to take care of them and I am all about low maintenance. But here's the cool thing. I feel like if you have pots that fit well together, um, like this is part of my snappy pot shelf, you can have it look like an arrangement with these pots connected to each other, I'm mean, not actually connected, but just pressed really close together, it looks like an arrangement even though they are potted individually. And I'm starting to really, really like that look and feel. So just something to keep in mind as you're planting succulents that if you're having a hard time keeping arrangements alive, try just you know going with individually potted succulents or maybe just try combining different succulents together until you find something that works for you.